Independence Day is all about celebrations, being surrounded by friends and backyard barbecues. And with so many parties and events to attend, it can seem hard to make yours stand out from the rest of all that noise. Joining us now is entertaining expert and A-list caterer Mary Giuliani with some great ideas on how to make your 4th of July celebration stand out. Good morning. How are you? Good. I'm well, Aubrey. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. So 4th of July is one of those uh, holidays where we like to get together and, and really just have that nice gathering. How can you make your party uh, stand out when we're talking about the ambiance? Oh, well, that's easy because summer, we have so many great options to go outside. So I like to say, pick a new spot this summer. Find a nice tree you never entertained under before or a nice spot by your pool, maybe on a, on a different side. It just sets a nice ambiance. Your friends come over and say, oh, this is, this is a new place. We've never eaten here before. And it just it refreshes the energy for your party. Now, what's the easiest way to impress your guests when you're doing this summer entertaining? Definitely by the food you're serving, especially on the grill. People um, will we'll talk about what they're eating a lot in the summer, and um, we're very lucky that we have a lot of great ingredients and, and products to choose from. Um, this summer, my go-to is um, Weber makes a great line of sauces and seasonings. They make, um, for the, I love on, on my chicken, they have a kickin' chicken seasoning. Um, it has a really nice spice to it. Um, I put, just put that on, throw it on the grill, layer it with a little buzz and honey, their buzz and honey barbecue sauce. So good, very minimal effort and really tastes great. And my burgers, um, I like to use their gourmet burger seasoning. I put that right into the patty, put it on the grill, serve that with a little bit of barbecue sauce. It really, the, all their flavors really just get the best out of your grill. So your guests will really, really enjoy that. Okay, so um, change it up a little that, bit with the flavors. Oh, definitely, definitely. So good. And for me, 4th of July is not complete without hot dogs. Um, it's the <laughs> most American and most delicious um, thing you can throw in your barbecue. So um, this summer, we're really lucky. Ballparks come out with a line of um, Park's Finest premium, um, premium flavors. And they have um, things like cracked uh, flavors like crack, crack Dijon and smoky barbecue. And um, they're 100% all beef, no nitrates, no preservatives. Um, so delicious off the grill. And a, a nice thing I do is I, I set them out with a bunch of toppings. So I cut up some onions, some relish, some tomatoes, some pickles. And again, it'll just enhance um, what's going on at, at your barbecue. Well, that sounds easy enough. You know, you just put some condiments and maybe a little extra so that people can spice up their food. Now, when we talk about food, what about dessert? You want to make the dessert just oh. as tasty and as impressive, you know, and presentation's everything, right? It's the grand finale, so we got to go big. <laughs> um, lucky for, for us, a blue bunny ice cream has something for all your guests. That's why I like to, I like to, to, to choose them. Um, I like their premium flavors like creamy vanilla and chocolate, but I also like their unique flavors. They have a um, Bunny Tracks ice cream, which is a fudge swirl with peanut butter chocolate covered bunnies inside the ice cream. Ooh. So good. And then something cute and unique you could do is fill up an ice cooler and throw in some of their ice cream sandwiches and their mini swirl cones. Um, the cones are adorable because they're small. Kids love them, but adults love them too because they're under 130 calories each. So you can get a nice little taste of ice cream and not feel guilty. I like that. Keep it small. They're very cute. I'm definitely going to have to give those swirls a try. And remember for a good summer get together, whether it's for its 4th of July or some other event, it's all about the food and presentations. So uh, thank you so much for sharing those tips with us. Thank you. Have a great summer. <laughs> All right. I can't believe 4th of July is next weekend. I know. Or, well, next week, actually. It's crazy. <laughs> it's exciting. And it's going to be on a Friday. Yeah. So, so. it'll be a nice weekend. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do that weekend? All right. We'll talk about that next week. But coming up on the Hampton Roads Show.